Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today I will show you how to create this really cool and extremely detailed close simulation and collision with Typhlop. I know that a lot of you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, so I will show you the way to create this simulation with or without the CUDA collision solver. We will also see how to create a beautiful reveal and fix all the issues you could have with the simulation. And for my Patreon, I share with you the scene of the chair model and this beautiful studio lighting I created for the thumbnail with all the light, dirt floor and car textures. Ok, now it's time for the tutorial, let's go. Ok, so for this tutorial I will use a chair model because it will be faster for the simulation than a car. I create now a type of setup. Open editor. And I'm going to create a plane that will be used to generate my floor collision like this. I create now another plane for my clothes and I move this plane above the chair. I can now up my segment, maybe 100 to start. Now in type flow I create a burst object and I pick my plane too. I deselect the display and I'm going to create a close bind to convert my plane into a clothes. Now I want to simulate gravity, so I will add the force operator and decrease the gravity. Maybe minus 0.1. And yeah, I think it's good. I can now add a collision operator and pick my share and the plane one. Let's see the simulation. Okay, so we have the collision, but we have a lot of problem with the chair interaction. So we can start to fix that just by changing the time step, maybe 1-4. Yeah, even better. You can also decrease the time scale that help when you have a complicated mesh. Maybe here 0.6, but you can go smaller. Okay, so it starts to fit well the chair, but uh, not perfect yet. You can if you want go back to close bind and play with binding stiffness to change the properties of your clothes. As you can see, it changed the final result. It's up to you to try to have the look you want. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can activate the CUDA collision solver here and self collision. But as you can see, it takes a lot of time to simulate the clothes. I just edited the time simulation for this tutorial, of course, but keep in mind that uh, the CCS really increase your time simulation. So it's good if you have the time because as you can see, the simulation interaction is perfect, but I will show you after how to drastically decrease your time simulation and create a perfect cloth. Okay, if you want to add more detail on your cloth, you can just up the segment, maybe 200, good. We have now a beautiful classic simulation, but maybe we want something more complex with more little detail and of course faster to simulate. So I will show you the way to create that without the CCS. So I just deselect the CCS. What you can do if the clause pass through your mesh is to go to the collision operator and increase the absolute radius, maybe 0.6. And we see now that it starts to look good. We have a quick simulation, but we don't have yet a perfect collision and self-interaction. So to fix that, we will create a particle physics. We see here the collision issue. You can go down and draw collision shape if you want to see the size of the collision shape, but it's not necessary in this case. It will be really easy to set up the particle physics. I don't need tolerance. For the collision force, I set the stiffness to 0.5. And now we will play with the collide radius, maybe 0.8, now 0.5. Okay, maybe let's try like this. And now we see that it's not beautiful. It's because the collide radius is still too high. Maybe 0.4. And now we see that it's really better. We have a fast loss simulation without interpenetration. We have still a little collision issue, but uh, we can fix that with a collision radius. As you can see, the mesh is not really clean, so what you can do is to add a turbo smooth, nor a relax modifier, increase the relax value, and now the clause start to look very good. I just increase a little the collision, decrease my collide radius to 
0.45 I can now relaunch uh, my simulation and yeah now it's really good a fast and perfect classic class simulation play with the particle physics is a really good alternative of the CUDA collision solver okay now that we have a good simulation we want to make uh, this class a little more live and organic with more detail as well so uh, to do that we will uh, create another force select turbulence scale 0.5 and strength to 5 maybe okay we created here more detail in the class maybe let's try with another value maybe 0.3 mm, not bad i think the simulation can be really cool with this value now what i'm going to do is just animate the strength of my turbulence from 5 to 0 on q frame maybe 15 okay we see here on the tab the strength animation I can now relaunch my simulation and now we see a more complex and organic class simulation. I can now just play with the scale to create different results. You can also play with the other force setting. It's up to you to try to create what you want for your class. If I want to fix that black side issue, I can just add a shell modifier and maybe set a value of 0.04. And now I have a good class with a little shell. It's perfect. Really cool result. Now if I want more detail in my class, I can just increase the plane segment, maybe 300. And of course, if you increase the subdivision, don't forget to decrease your collide radius in the particle physics. I can now relaunch my simulation. And as you can see, we have a really cool high quality simulation with a lot of detail and close superposition. And this simulation is perfect. We don't have collision on interpenetration issue. Okay, so it's over for the class simulation. We will see now to create a really cool reveal. So I just decrease my class subdivision to simulate faster. I have here my simulation and I'm going to create a point. So helper and point here. I create my point maybe here. And now what I'm going to do is just to animate uh, this point on maybe uh, 150 frame like this. You can see here the point animation and now what we want is that the class stays stuck to the point. So to do that I'm going to add an object test. Pick my point. You can change here the distance to object if you want to select less or more close. And now I will create an object bind and link this new operator to the object test. I pick my point too for the object bind. And now I just launch the simulation. Okay, so we have our simulation, but we see here that the point created a little issue, but it's not a problem. It will be really easy to fix that, but for the moment, let's continue the simulation. And we see that it works perfectly. We have here a really cool class reveal with beautiful interaction with the chair. Another issue you could have is that the point can create some bad mesh and tearing interaction. So we'll fix now that two problems. Okay, so basically what I want is my object test just be activated at the frame 90 and not at the beginning. So I go back in my object test, filters tab, enable filter and add. We see here a position filter, but in property type, we will select event edge with the value of 90 for the frame 90. And to finish for the test, I select greater. So basically I created a filter that tells to my operator to be activated after the frame 90. And to finish, to fix the close interaction issue, you just need to create a mass operator and set a really high value. Ok, now I reactivate all my setup and I relaunch the simulation. And we see now that we have our close simulation with no issue with the point. And after the frame 90, the object test is activated and the close reveal works properly. We can see too that the mass operator totally fixed the interaction issue. Okay, so this is basically the way to create fast and beautiful close simulation and collision with the mesh with or without the CUDA collision solver and how to create a really cool reveal. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. As always, don't forget to thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. 
and you can also follow me on Instagram and support me on Patreon if you want. See you soon for our next tutorial guys, bye!